Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. And this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Welcome to the soprano or descant recorder. I'm going to show you how to play all the notes you're going to need to get started on this brilliant instrument. First up, we're going to have your left hand at the top, your right hand at the bottom, even if you're left-handed. We have eight holes to put your fingers on. On the back, you have your thumb hole for your left thumb. I call that hole zero. Left index finger goes on hole number one. Left middle finger goes on hole two. And left ring finger goes on hole three. Your left little finger is just on holiday forever. <laughs> right index finger goes on hole four. Right middle finger goes on hole five. Right ring finger goes on hole six and right little finger goes on your last hole, number seven. Let's start with the note G. You're covering the thumb hole and then one, two, three. Even though we're not using your right hand, I want you to put the thumb in the right place on the back roughly between holes four and five, supporting the instrument and not tucking your fingers under the recorder because we're gonna need them in a second. Let's do the note A. Now we've got left thumb, one, two. The note B, we're just gonna have your left thumb and first finger. For the note C, you've got your left thumb on the back and your middle finger down. And going up to D, this is a bit of a tricky one, you're going to take your thumb away. This is why we're supporting the recorder with your right thumb as well. You've only got your left middle finger down. with those notes but let's go lower. For the note E you're gonna need thumb down and then fingers one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Going down to D we're adding your right ring finger, six fingers on the recorder. <laughs> and finally adding your little finger, covering all of the holes for C. You'll notice with these lower notes, you have to blow quite softly to get them to speak without <laughs> squeaking. What about F? Where's F? Well, there are two versions depending on the kind of record you have. I play on a Baroque model, that is my recorder of choice. The fifth hole is bigger than the fourth. For the F, you're going to close everything except your right middle finger. So you've got thumb, one, two, three, four, six, seven. The other type of recorder is the German model. You can see that the fifth hole is smaller than the fourth. So the F, we're gonna have thumb, one, two, three, four. Let's do a couple of semitones. F sharp, on the Baroque model, we're going to have thumb, one, two, three, five, six. On your German model, it's thumb, one, two, three, five, six, seven. B flat, wait for it. Thumb, one, three, five, six. But here's the cool thing, on the recorder you can play most notes in lots of different ways. You can also play the B flat Thumb, one, three, four. There's
there's an imperceptible difference and it might depend on the recorder you're playing and how it fits with other musicians you might play with. And to start you off on the high notes, I'm going to show high E. For this, we play our regular normal E, thumb, one, two, three, four, five, but then we half open the thumb hole at the back. I just move my thumb down to open it from the top. With these notes, you can play a huge amount of simple songs and tunes, but the recorder is a fully chromatic instrument with a wide range. To see the notes I haven't covered today, uh, you can check out this video. Now, because I know you're watching this video, I know that you like learning. There's no way to say this without sounding like a nerd, but then I am a nerd, so welcome to my recorder universe. Uh, this is getting off to a good start. Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can follow thousands of creative courses in your own time. I've been really excited to see their ever-growing selection of music offerings. A really nice course is Rob Price's Learn to Read Music, which covers all of the fundamentals um, in a thorough yet easy to follow way. With so many of these subjects, you can find the information online, but it's so helpful to have it set out for you in a really clear way. I'm finding this really useful for my video editing skills, for example. Check out the link in my description. The first thousand people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And there are new premium classes launched every week. So there's always something new to discover. Those were the notes you need to get started on the recorder. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here. Here's the Team Recorder Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Here's some more videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.